turned out today. Um, they've continually done that across all our games. Um, the support they provide us, the support they provide our players and our team in this organization is really unmatched. And uh, we've gone in some hostile territory this year, and they've been there for us. So I'm proud of them and uh, what they've done. And we certainly need their support next week. Next thing I want to do is thank these seniors. You know, uh, I can't say enough about the way they handled this week because it would have been easy to say, well, this is Georgia Tech. They're 5-5, five and five, but they're also 5-0 and oh at home. They also run a very difficult offense to prepare for, and they took the challenge head on. And the offensive players embraced helping the defensive players, and the special teams helped chip in. Um, it's a challenge to prepare for. They're tough to prepare for. Our kids really played hard today in a physical, tough battle. And uh, we got a lot of areas we can improve on. Uh, but I feel like we're getting better as a team. And we've got a great challenge next week, regardless of who it is. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. Kirby, it's not often that, that anybody holds this team under 200 yards rushing. You guys were able to do that today. I mean, how does that make you feel as a coach and, and about the players and the work you put in? Proud as hell. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest with you. It is hard to keep them from rushing for 200 yards. You said it best. And I'm not taking any of that credit. You give that credit to Mel Tucker, Ann Schumer, Trey Scott, Kevin Share, and them kids out there who've been getting whacked in the knee all week. And they embraced it. They looked at it like it was <clears throat> Little League football on Saturday down at the park over in Tucker, down in Montezuma. Just go play tackle football on Saturday when nobody's watching and just go out there and knock the hell out of each other. And they loved it. And they did a great job of doing it. They embraced the challenge. And uh, I'm proud of them for the way they competed. What can you take out of this result in this game into the SEC championship? Game? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I mean, defensively, yeah. absolutely nothing. There's not one call we call today that we'll call next week, regardless of who wins. So the preparation are polar opposites. So we've got kids who win a week without hearing any call that they'll hear this week. But we got to practice a lot of tackling. We got to practice a lot of cutting. And uh, we got some tough kids that really bought into the the, the idea of playing a tough offense. Coach, Coach what did you James? decide to start uh, putting in extra preparation on Mondays? And how much did it pay off? About 365 days ago today. <laughs> <laughs> when we didn't do a good job closing it out, and we didn't prepare the right way, and just felt like we could have done a better job. I think, if anything, very critical of myself for last year's game, and that's one of the things we didn't want to feel that way. Now, look, we didn't play perfect today. They'll have answers for what we did, and we got to continue to grow when it comes to playing this offense. But Paul's really good at what he does. Kirby, he Kirby understands Jay, that. Kirby J got to play really well, 12-16, 224. It really helped balance off the run game today, the way he played, don't you think? Yeah, I thought he did a good job uh, managing the game, uh, understanding what they were trying to do to him, make good decisions, and uh, show confidence in him there in the two-minute full half. Give them a chance to go down and score. You're not going to get many possessions against these guys. You better, you better use the ones you get. Good, Coach. Uh, you jumped on uh, Roquan Smith's back there at the end of the game. I thought that was sort of metaphorical a little bit or whatever. Can you just talk about the job that that guy does, sideline to sideline, how important it was today? Machine. I mean, he is a tackling machine. What he did today, and I can't say because I, I haven't watched the tape, but what I feel like was what I saw all week in practice. I mean, the guy's sideline to sideline, relentless, athletic, tough, competitive, leads, talks when people need talking to, quiet when it needs to be quiet. I mean, he's an he's impeccable character and just proud of the way he works and buys into what we believe. Um, Coach, follow up on that. I mean, can you sort of share some things that you may have said to him after the game after the I didn't say much to him as the game. Just the fact I love him and uh, I think he's a, a great kid. He's just he does things the right way. I mean, we have to we have to taper him in practice because we don't want him to run himself out or hit himself out. So we we don't give him as many reps as we give those other guys because he, he goes so hard when he goes. He does it the right way. So I'm just proud of him. I don't I don't thank him enough. Right, right. Obviously, externally there were some questions about your team after the Auburn game. Could you just respond about or remark about how they've responded since then? Uh, they come to work every day. Um, all we talked about after that game was playing with more discipline and, and, and improving. 
and we've tried to improve each week in practice to get better going against each other. I think we've been able to do that. Uh, excited about the opportunity these guys got. They've earned it. Uh, Coach, you gave up a few long drives there in the first half, not so much the case in the second half. What kind of defensive adjustments did you make at halftime that caused that? None. <laughs> None. Just tackle the man with the ball. You, know, you, you can't make adjustments against this offense. <coughs> You gotta do what you do, and you gotta do it well, and you gotta do it with great discipline. And uh, to be honest with you, you're gonna give up long drives because they've got four plays to get it in. And it's really hard to simulate this offense. So, wasn't a whole lot of change, and I thought we played well both halves, to be honest with you. Having clinched a couple of weeks ago, what's the feeling now that you're finally able to focus fully on the SEC championship? Uh, I think it's just that, focus. I mean, you're going to be playing a good team regardless of who it is. and It's a great opportunity and an unbelievable venue. Uh, one of the greatest events in all sports to me is the SEC Championship. I mean, it's by far the best, toughest conference in the country. You get two of the best teams in the country to play each other each year. It gets the most coverage, usually, of all games. And uh, it's an opportunity to uh, get into the play. So you. for us, that's what, that's what you want. Coach, you, you mentioned those long drives that they had. One of them resulted in that touchdown right before halftime. How big was it to come back and get those points to kind of get the momentum back psychologically for these guys? Oh, it's big anytime you, you answer the bell. You know, they, they they got we got them to whatever it was. I guess it was it fourth down or third down. It was fourth down, right? Third down. Maybe third down. I mean, either way, we're sitting there with an opportunity to, to, to hold to a field goal or, you know, uh, get the ball back to the offense. and. You know, Paul does a good job. He, he managed the clock. He milked the clock all the way down. We knew we had three timeouts. I was telling Jim the whole time that I wanted to try to go score, get points, because you don't know how many possessions you're going to get. And uh, it didn't matter how low the clock was. We wanted to at least try to get points out of it. We got a good field goal kicker, and uh, we were able to do it. I hate we had the breakdown um, for the touchdown, but it was just part of it. They did a good job. Kirk, you you their style of offense, is it difficult? Is it mentally more stressful because of their style of offense? When you come to play them, when you play them, generally speaking, you said I didn't catch. Is it is it is it more stressful than usual, considering how much time they chew up, etc. And when you're dealing with that, I think it's more stressful on our offense because they know they've got a limited number. I don't know if you're asking about it. They got a limited number of times to touch the ball. I don't even know how many possessions do we have today. We usually average around 11 or 12 a game. I don't know what it ended up being today. Maybe we got our 11, 12 in last year. We did, but you got to make the most of them because they chew the clock. He was very patient with his offense. He made sure he built the clock and they run the ball a lot. So that's always uh, trying on your patience. But I'll be honest with you, it's stressful every week in this league. Kirby, do you know if Trenton was banged up uh, on a cut block and with Christian Payne, what's his injury? Is he available next week, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure on uh, Christian. You know, Trenton, I have to watch the tape. I don't think it was. I think it was just a double team. Do you amend a 24 hour rule given the fact you're going to know who you're playing tonight? Yeah, I don't. I mean, we don't really have a 24-hour rule. We're, we're concerned with who we're playing right now. We just don't know who that is. But we enjoy it in the locker room, and then it's time to go to work. Do you have a preference on who you play next week? Absolutely not. How quickly will you get to, to prepare? I mean, you're going know, to go watch that game right away as soon as you can and start? Well, we got to get home. we got to put this game behind us. We'll have to take a lot of notes for this game because it will prepare us for next year. It has no, at least defensively, it has no uh, – Bearing on this next week's game, but we got to take notes. We got to talk about how we prepared, what we did well, what we didn't do well, so that next year we can use the Thanksgiving week to prepare the right way. So we got to clean all that up. But outside of that, we'll be getting ready as the, the game goes on. I mean, we've got everything broken down on Alabama, we've got everything broken down on Auburn, so we're set to go. And you know, I've, I've been through this several times before where you didn't know, you had to wait until the last week, and that's just the way you prepare. What are some areas of your team that you think have improved the most in this regular season? Special teams from last year to this year, we had a lull in there somewhere in special teams, didn't didn't play great. I think they're 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 performing at a high rate. Um, you know, defensively it's hard to say because we've had some games where we didn't play real well in the stretch and today was not really a, not really a true indicator, you know, you can't measure things by the day, you know, we measure by tackle under the ball, but it's nothing like what we're going to play against. Just completely different. So uh, offensively we've grown. I think uh, Jake's gotten better. And uh, we're certainly trying to improve the passing game, as everybody knows. Kirby John Atkins said that his scout team did a tremendous job. Well, not fast preparing you for this game. He said they, they were fast and quick, too. I'll be honest with you. That's probably the best scout team performance I've ever seen in a week, where we took some guys, those backup fullbacks, uh, Turner and uh, uh, Jake Gross, and those guys did an unbelievable job of being guards and tackles, really quick guys. 
uh, we brought extra alignment over there. We had two O-line groups. We uh, we had extra receivers. We had two or three quarterbacks. I mean, we got a tremendous picture from the scout team. I thought it really helped today. Kirby, I know that the players have said about you before, you try not to get too high, try not to get too low, and that's kind of something you've said too. But what what kind of emotions do you have to deal with maybe going into a game like an SEC championship game, you know, as a young head coach and, and uh, doing something that, you know, you haven't done before? It's not really any different for me than going to Auburn or going to Tennessee. Or it's, it's an SEC game, so it's a good team. We'll prepare the same way. We'll do a lot of the same things. You don't, you don't make the moment bigger than it is. I mean, our team's got to go out there and do a good job preparing, and go play the best we can. And uh, that's 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 what it is. I've been in a lot of big games as a coach. I don't see it being any different being the head coach. I wanted to win those as defense coordinator just as bad as I want to win this one. How do you think he's going to play today? I thought he played tough. I thought he played physical. He earned some hard yards, and he's one of the best competitors I've ever been around. What did this win mean to you? Well, I personally, after last year, you know, and uh, a lot of our seniors talked about, you know, you guys make a big deal about a revenge tour. We try not to make it about that, but we checked the last box on that list today, and uh, it meant a lot to send these seniors out the right way. I mean, I, I still have memories of Nick Chubb sitting in my office and telling me why he's coming back. So I wanted it more for him than for anybody. And uh, to send him out the right way, and really all of them, but it's just Nick specifically said he couldn't sleep at night thinking about it and gave him an opportunity to go to sleep now. That said, last year, tons of pictures of those guys in the hedges. Your guys just kind of, Nick in particular, just jogged off the field today. Is that the way you wanted to kind of That's who we are. We're not into the other. We're going to let somebody else do that, and we're just going to do it the right way. With all of your experience in the SEC championship, what's your message to the players who haven't been in that situation? Well, as far as I know, none of these guys have, right? So the message is next man up. It's the next game. I mean, the moment's not too big for these kids. they got to go execute and play a good football game, a football team. So there's, no, there's no overriding message. There's no speech that's going to be given that's going to make them Superman. They got to go out there and do a good job. We got to go out there and play our game, and go out there and uh, work to get better. And that's what we'll do. Last question. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Appreciate it.